with its drones accounting for around 80% of the world market. DJI has become known for making smart machines that can fly. But now it's leveraging that competence into improving things that run on the ground. With the debut of its new brand offering autonomous driving solutions at the ongoing auto show in Shanghai. Utilizing its experience in sensing, decision making and the mass production of precision and reliable hardware, DJI has been working on the application for five years. This year's auto show seemed to be the perfect time to show it off. As a tech company, we're familiar with tech development, but we're new in communicating with consumers and clients in the auto industry. So we want to learn more from this show. And we're very happy to have found out that many car manufacturers are becoming increasingly interested in the technology, which is the theme of this year's event. The first commercial passenger car fitted with an autonomous driving system developed by Huawei is also making its debut at the event. The model, produced in collaboration with Bikes ArcFox brand, is available for pre-orders and will begin deliveries later this year. In the past, we were just producing some single components for car makers. This is the first time that we have gathered a large batch of hardware and software solutions into one car. The new model gathers five of our solutions, including intelligent driving and a smart cockpit, more than 100 components in all. We did a whole design, the system R&D and hardware. We are now seeking cooperation with other OEMs, like Chang'an Auto and GAC Group. The automobile industry has recently seen several new entrants, especially with the shift towards autonomous and electric vehicles, companies like DJI and Huawei. Chinese tech giant Xiaomi has just announced plans to commence manufacture of electric vehicles. And some players that are already putting their technologies into mass production for car makers are also turning up at this year's auto show, an illustration of the large excitement in the market. Chinese tech developer SenseTime has been putting its technology into auto production for more than 30 automakers around the globe. Now, for the first time, it has its own booth at the auto show this year, showcasing its latest cockpit smart solutions. If the driver stands near the door and stares at its camera, it opens the door for you. Okay, I was just told that uh, the system has something that far beyond just facial recognition and data memory. Let's first take a photo. Oh, a virtual assistant. It looks exactly like me and I will be talking with myself a little bit weird. And I cannot control the music playing with just simple hand gestures. Oh, it just detects I'm feeling asleep. <laughs> well, in real life, you can make it appear with the face of anyone that you would like to talk with. The system can also detect if there are children, pets, or phones left in the car and alert the driver. More than 30 million automobiles around the world are now equipped with sense time systems. In 2017, when we first started entering the field, this was kind of a blank area in the auto industry. But now AI technology has filled in the blank. The application of the technology to cars is quite complicated. Vehicles have to run smoothly from minus 40 degrees to 70 or 80 degrees. And the application of visual algorithms to cars is much more complicated than in other areas. Consulting firm PwC last week released a report on digitalization in the auto industry, saying that software has become a core competitive area for modern cars, with costs for research and development expected to jump 83% within the coming decade. The technology-driven component would take up 60% of consumers' experience value in a car by 2030, it says. And the amount of software in the industry will be triple what it is now. Zhang Shishen, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.